Gonna do an in-depth analysis. Ah, got him. I win. There we go. Huh. So it's like... Some chill beats, some lo-fi. Oh my gosh. Wait, this sounds... This... <laughs> I don't know if this is a good or bad thing, but this sounds like G-Shift. This literally sounds like G-Shift music. Like, exactly. That's kind of funny. Sounds really weird on my end. Does it? How so? Oh, that's cool. Nice audio clip. Oh, he does, right? Yeah. Got the, the, the drum. It's wobbling. I don't know. I thought that was just like the style of the song. Also, this is 360p. So maybe that's why I'm gonna, I'm gonna refresh. There we go. It's really not on my though. I really can't. That sounds a little bit better. Yeah, I, I understand the title now, honestly. Huh. Is this a uh, is this just an instrumental EP or is there are there still wobbling? Again, I thought that was just like the style of the song. Ooh. All right, yeah, a lo-fi hip hop EP. Ah, okay. I'm just now seeing seeing this thing down here. I. Nice. Well, I mean, I just now figured that out, yeah. Honestly, if this was a um, clip at the very end, ooh, interesting. Um, yeah, like if this was on a, a lo fi hip hop beats playlist, I'd listen to it, you know? There was some weird foam in my hot chocolate. Okay, then. Transition gonna be. Pretty simple. All right. Carnival vibes. Ooh, I like this one a lot. The high synth and then the occasional low synth is pretty cool. Simple drums. Let's try again. Oh, I see. So it's like a, a video game kind of vibe, like a retro end screen. Yeah, I see it. Remember when it took two hours for me to make hot chocolate? Why though? It took me five minutes. Not even that. I, I actually really like this one. This is my favorite so far. Ooh, what's that? It's like a, a drum. I don't know how to explain it. That's really cool. So it's like, so now there's like two sets of drums right now. That's kind of cool. I love this, how the second drum is like scratching together and it's kind of like a, abrasive. That's pretty cool. Alright, the fade in. Please try again later. Okay, so I was thinking the drop was gonna happen there, but it, it waited a little bit for the audio clip. That was really cool. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, I like this one a lot. It makes me want to make lo-fi music, honestly. 
when am I gonna see some Never Rest songs on a lo-fi beat to chill and study to? <laughs> like, actually. I could legit see this in like an, a video game too. Dude, I could see this in Hive Swap. Like, actually. But I'm actually famous. Bro, you are famous. The person you are trying to reach is missing. Ooh. That won't happen. Bruh, chill. I mean, if you think it won't, then I guess it won't, but. Considering its quality and size, the compact disc most certainly will become a part of our everyday lives in the future. Producer Tom Tomaszewski has that story. Ooh. Ooh, okay. I'm seeing some space vibes. Oh my gosh. It's like a retro space theme. You're, you're in pixelated space, you know, like a Galaga or something. That's cool. The drums are more complex here than the other songs, which is kind of cool. I love the, the faint echo with it too, it's pretty cool was made of something to it. to it you do something ah fair that's why it's kind of repetitive that's fair well, what's that what's that voice line in the background that's kind of cool it's like extremely faint but still noticeable last second spelling can Kinda. I love the muffled sound to it though, it's, it's really cool. Hmm. I, 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 I'm liking this. Music reviewer streamer now crazy. What are some? I. All these are really chill beats. Yo, when are we going to be able to buy these uh, songs? <laughs> Excuse me. Master Thunny. Yeah, no. <laughs> Ooh, maps. This one doesn't sound as muffled as. Ooh. I see where you're going with the name here. I, okay. I get it. Hi. Hmm. This one is more complex than the other one. you have like the two things playing at once and then the other two things it's that weird drum again where it's like kind of rubbing up against each other you know it's that sound and then there's like a faint echo on like one of the drums that's like the only thing that has an echo so that makes it Ooh. 
Okay. Three notes. I thought of someone flipping through a radio when I did this one. Fair. Makes sense. Pretty simplistic. Alright. Oh, so it's literally just like one instrument. That's cool. Nice. Please try again. I think best track on the on the EP. All of it was pretty pretty chill. All of it was vibing. Um Yeah, it's it's good. I I don't I don't have anything negative to say, honestly. It's pretty solid for an EP. I think the only thing I think the only the only thing I will say though, like criticism wise, is like the 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 lead instrument on here sounds like a tiny bit off here. Just like a tiny bit. I I'm not sure why, but that's the only thing I can think of honestly. But I don't know if that's just cuz it's like a major note or whatever. But at the same time it kind of works for this song, so it's like uh, like right there the first time i heard it i was like hmm but the more i listen to it i'm like oh this makes sense for this song kind of thing that's the only thing i will say uh criticism wise other than that i like this one. this one this one's a bop for sure the album is going to be way more insane musically hope so my dude because that would be cool uh so i got gonna turn it down now there we go uh so yeah that was cool good job good job mateo you did a good with music bravo 